Hello and welcome to European of Alice for Common Sense. We are going to be playing as England, as they are the country that has had the most changes in the recent patch. A big, kind of huge change for them, is they don't start in a hundred years war. Why is this so big? Well, it means that they can actually ally people before the war, and is generally, like, I think it's a better position for England to be in. For instance, if you get Castile and Austria's allies pretty early, I think you could easily beat France if the Hundred Year War fires. Although there is a, uh, how is it? Yeah, there's an event that's going to make it fire, apparently. They also have the Parliament, and they are a good nation to be Protestant. So, let's try it out. Um, England. There we go. An important change that we're not going to see too much of is forts. Because, um, well really the only place we could need a fort would be up here in uh, Cumbria or Northumberland if we were trying to block uh, Scotland from invading. Uh, it looks like we start with one in Marches, is that right? Castle. Castle's already built in Marches. There we go. And we get one in London for free that we don't have to pay for. That's my understanding of it. Uh, apparently they also changed the trade node, so let's have a look at this. Uh, it doesn't look like they changed too much from what I can see. Maybe there's less in the uh, in England, more of its North Sea. But yeah, looks fairly similar. So yeah, we're not at war, but we do have the Parliament button. So we can start debates, we have four seats, Kent, London, Oxfordshire and Lancashire. Which are... I don't know if it even matters where they are. Right. So what do we need to do first? Let's just go through our things up here in order, I guess. Looming Disaster. War of the Roses. Okay. Ah, this used to just be an event, so that's cool that it's now actually a disaster it tells you about. Uh, it can be stopped by. One of the following must be true. Currently in a disaster. That's not true. Has an heir. No legal heir. Has a regency council. Well, we don't have that. Is the lesser part in a personal union. Um, well, none of those look... Well, I think having an heir is something we could realistically get. And having a regency council is also something we could realistically get if we die when we have an heir. Wait, has a regency council or... So this isn't just limited to, this used to kind of be limited to, I think, um, earlier in the game. But I think this is, a, if at any point in the game we don't have an heir, and we are, like, are we, and we don't have a Regency Council at the time, then this will happen. Okay. How, what's the progress? 2.5 each month. Oh, so that's 5% each month. Ruling Dynasty is not York. Add some. Stability is less than 1. Yup. Ruler has low administrative, diplomatic, and military skill. Ah, okay. So this is only likely to fire early in the game because we have the 000 leader who's adding 1.5. So if we were to get rid of that and we were to get rid of the stability less than 1, which is something we could easily do. That means it's only progressing at uh, 0 0.5 each month, which would be 1% of progress, I think. No, oh, it's currently at 5%. So if you need to get 100, that means it's at 5. And it's going up 2.5% each month. And then we going up 0.5% each month. So it'll take a lot longer, but we still need to get real estate ruling dynasty York for that to actually go away. So it should fire at some point, unless we can constantly have an heir, which is possible with enough royal marriages and a bit of luck. So, we need royal marriages. Too few rivals. Uh, let's have a look at the current situation. So we're allied with Portugal. Uh, let's go for something like this map mode. And we have no connection to France just yet. But we do have Reconquest. Alright, we have Reconquest. Because they have some of our cores. Uh, which core? Armagnac. And... Picardy. 
And we have Reconquest against Burgundy. Oh, they have Picardy. Yeah, so we just have Armagnac against France. Doesn't seem like a great reason to declare on France just yet. Judging by how the Hundred Year Wars have gone when it was uh, compulsory. We can select rivals. So, what's France's opinion of us? They've rivaled us, so we should rival France. That makes sense. Who else is on our list? Aragon? They're too far away for us to realistically do anything against them. I don't really want to out, um, rival Austria. And they are friendly with us, so we should probably try and get that alliance as soon as possible. And then we can get the Royal Marriage afterwards. So we want to ally Austria. Burgundy. They have rivaled us, and they are in a good position for us to actually have them as a rival. Their border to us seems like a good choice. Castile is possible. Um, what do Castile and Portugal think of each other right now? They like each other? Well, Portugal... Uh, Castile likes Portugal. Portugal likes Castile. So they're probably going to be allies, so we probably don't want to... Uh, rival Castile because then we're going to be and we're not going to be able to do anything against them because Portugal's going to defend them and then we lose Portugal as an ally. Which really just gives us Denmark who are significantly weaker than us and if their personal union breaks that could be a great opportunity to jump in there and get something out of it. If it's only a humiliate that's fine. We can get something out of it. Missions. Let's have a look. Reclaim Armagnac. Uh, effect on completion. England gets inspiring victory. Manpower recovering speed, recovery speed and yearly prestige. Papal influence will give us more papal in Papal relations gives us more papal influence. And improve our prestige. Gives us stability. I think the best one right now would just be solidify papal relations. Because they shouldn't hate us or at all. Yep. So that'll be nice and quick to finish, and will um, give us a good bonus. Especially as they've changed the papacy so you can hold up to 200 papal influence. Which means if we want to save it up to 200 and then convert to Protestant, we can spam the uh, gain one stability twice, and then we'll have higher stability just before we change. Although I think converting might lower your stability. Debates in Parliament, and we need more seats. If number of seats in Parliament drops too, too low, additional seats may be assigned automatically. Um, I don't know what the benefit of having specific seats is just yet. Let's have a look at the debates. If we don't do a debate, we lose 20 prestige, so we might as well do it. Succeeding gives us uh, bonuses from the selected issue. So, appropriate land for the state. Gain one base tax in Gloucestershire, one base tax in Northumberland, and for the next 10 years, build costs goes down. Fund expansion of universities. Technology cost goes down for the next 10 years. Uh, no, in... Okay, for 10 years it will go down. Shipbuilding cost and ship cost goes down. Span navy. Span the army, regiment time goes down and recruitment time and regiment cost goes down. And grant minority rights. Norfolk will gain a seat in Parliament. And for the next 10 years, accepted culture threshold goes down. Okay. So, I think I like this one. Appropriate land for the state. I can get rid of that. Plus one base tax in Gloucestershire, plus one base tax in Northumberland, and Lord Build Cost. I don't really care about Lord Build Cost, it just seems like the only one of these that we can... Like, we're 100% getting a benefit from taking it. There's no scroll wheel, is there? No. So we'll go with that. I just want to see how this works. So. What do they want? They want us to lose mercantilism. Okay. Gain inflation. Local autonomy. Or lose army tradition. What is our army tradition right now? Our oh, army tradition is basically nothing. Right. So we'll take that. And that gives it then a chance to win. Okay. And we'll take the local autonomy. There we go. 
Right. So, what else have we got to do? Got a mission to choose. Um, Solidify Papal Relations is the one I think we should go with, and we will go with that one. Papal State. Uh, we could get an alliance with them. They don't seem like the best people to get an alliance with. Let's have a look at that next. Who we should get an alliance with. Um, opinion. I think what we're going for. Just so that I can discount people who have rivaled us. So, like, Burgundy. You can see that. I think Austria. We've, we're going to get the alliance with them. So they're the best option straight away. If we're looking to attack France. Who do we want to attack? Overall, France seems like a good choice because they got our cores and if we weaken them early we can take make all this land red and it'll be nice and uh, all of our all ours. We also probably want to take Ireland and Scotland. Those are our early term goals. And then we probably want to colonize, which means we're going to need to attack Norway, which means we're gonna to have to split Norway off from Denmark. So, we might want Sweden as an ally. Which means we want to support their independence. But we don't want to do that straight away because I'm not 100% sure what the event is for France firing. Like, what event makes France actually do anything. I do like that we've got forts down here, actually. Um, not entirely sure how useful they are. But it's nice to know where France will have to go and siege. Um, okay, so allies. Do we want one of the Irish one province miners to be our ally? It makes sense because uh, they've now got the single pro like an independent nation now gets a bonus to armies and to tax power. Which means each of these independent nations gets a little bit of a bonus. So I see they now have like a five man army when before they would only have say two, three men at most. So we probably want one of them as an ally, so we've got someone already on land. So who do we want? Whoever we're choosing as an ally, we might want to just feed the land to and then eat up later. I'm thinking we want whoever has the most army. So that would be Munster. Uh, right, where is Munster? This right one? It's the one without the umlaut. Yep. They have 5,000 men. We now see the left. Rest Leinster has 5,000 men. Konyat has 4,000. And Ulster has 5. Um, so it looks like Munster, Leinster, and Ulster are all pretty much uh, 6, half a dozen. But. Munster are the one that we cannot fabricate a claim on, so they'll be our ally in Ireland. And my thought would be after we take over all, all of Ireland, then we'll attack Scotland. Unless, of course, it turns out that this is done really quickly and we can do the, the war at the same time. I basically want to take away all of the Sc potential Scottish allies, because they could get, say, Denmark, Norway, someone like that. Well, probably only Denmark, because Norway and Sweden are underneath Denmark right now. But, uh, we could stop them with our navy. Like, anyone else we can stop with our navy. The Irish troops would be a problem, because if they can get over to Scotland, which is possible, they could just sneak over while we're killing one of their fleets, then, uh, we're going to have to fight a large amount, and it's all going to be highlands up here. Plus, Scotland has an event where you can get extra men if England attacks. So all of that isn't uh, very positive for us. Let's have a look at how much money we're making right now. Uh, three ducats. We should get some advisors if we're not already at our force limit. Unrest, yearly legitimacy, monthly autonomy change. I mean, if we should get advisors if we are at our force limit. If we're not at our force limit, we should build up to that then get our advisors. Just make sure we have enough money. Um, okay, what kind of troops do we have? We have um, let's do an easy way of finding this. Military. Alright, so we have 19 infantry, 7 cavalry, and of course no cannons because you don't get them until 6, I think. 
could mothball all of our forts. How much do they cost? 0 0.5 ducats a month. So the way of mothballing individual forts. Like, can I mothball this fort? Um, doesn't look like it. It looks like you have to mothball forts as a whole. Unless this is it. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright, each fort costs us one ducat each month. But this says up here, fort maintenance is only going to cost 0 0.5 ducats a month. Or does that mean per fort? That's the base maintenance. Let's try another fort. It says one ducat a month on here, but it says 0 0.5 on the other interface. Hmm. Anyway, we don't need that one maintained because it's currently in land that's not actually going to be attacked. I mean, unless Scotland declare on us, which is unlikely, but if they do, we'll destroy them. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem likely that that's going to happen. So we might as well have it unfunded and not costing us money. Just give us an extra ducat or half ducat a month, depending on which interface is right. Turns out the interface on the province is right. That's uh, one ducat a month. Let's, um, let's check all the forts. Just a second. One ducat. One ducat. Ducat. Yeah. I was thinking it might have something to do with development. Like if the province is more developed and it will cost more. But if every province costs the same as the fort, then it's not done that way. How many seats do we need in Parliament? And how do we give more? Like, uh, say we wanted to give... Let's pick someone that's... I assume our culture is a good idea. Now, say we wanted to give Lincoln Parliament seat. What does that do? Gives them more production efficiency, more tax. Uh, increases our stability cost. Gives us more manpower. Makes it cost more to reduce war exhaustion and lowers autonomy. If it lowers autonomy, then we should make Oxfordshire. Oh, it already is a seat in Parliament. Okay. Well, we'll make Lincoln a seat. Just randomly. We need more seats? Okay, but each seat makes it harder to pass. Okay. Okay, we'll grant them a bit of local autonomy as well. That gives us a 90% chance to win. That should be high enough. Right, I'm going to let time move on just a little bit. A couple of days. Austria has accepted our offer to enter into a military alliance. Munster has accepted. Austria entered with people. Just going to click through them. Munster have an alliance with Scotland, did that say? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to cancel this alliance. We can. When can we do it? 12th of December. And then we're going to pick someone else. Like, and I'd let time move on a little bit more. Okay. Just waiting for more pop ups to appear. Cognac. France have entered into an alliance with Navarre. So this is kind of the Cold War of Navarre that it usually is. Except France is usually in the 100 Years War at this point. So we can't actually get the alliances with Navarre. Advisors. Now we can check how much money we actually, we're actually getting. 3.59. Yes, this is a new thing. You can retire an advisor, which means that you can uh, get a new person in their slot. Which is very useful. National Unrest is one I like to get. Diplomatic Reputation. I think we'll grab him. One duck at a month. Mm, morale of Armies. And National Unrest is now only minus two opposed to being minus three. Which is a change they made this patch, I think. Mm, we'll still get him. What do we want to focus into? We don't get ideas until military, not military, until administrative tech five now, which means that we might want to focus just hard on admin so that we can get the next idea group. 
It means there's only two admin tech groups between ideas here. Which is quite nice. Let's uh, make that our focus. National decision. Uh, missionary strength. We don't need missionary strength because everything is Catholic, I think. Um, wait, that one. Yep, everything is Catholic. Might use it if we turn Protestant. Um, yeah, we need to make the Pope like us. So next thing. Relations, improve relations. And who do we want the alliances with here? If Scotland have gone for Munster and Cognac, we want to go for Leinster and Ulster. Two, one. We want to take Tyrone as our ally. And accept that royal marriage. And we will dissolve this alliance. Costs nothing, makes them unhappy at us. Not our problem. Perhaps they shouldn't have gone with the wrong side. We're doing army com uh, composition, which let's have a quick look at that. That's the right hockey. 19 infantry, 7 cavalry. So I think if we're going for, say, a stack of. Go for 12 right now. How many do we need to siege? That's important to know. Fort level 1. I don't know how many that you need for that. We'll find out when we get there. And we'll find out next time. Thank you for watching. I will see you then.